All right, folks, the word of the year is in, and well, it should come as no surprise. AI, I mean, listen, it's taken the world by storm. In fact, according to Collins, AI was chosen because it has accelerated at such a fast pace that it became dominant conversation of all of 2023. But there were some other names that were up there, uh, semaglutide, uh, which is a medication used to suppress appetite and control high blood sugar. Now, that's UK if you never heard of it. Of course, if, if it was Ozempic, I think that would be uh, up there really high if you were to ask Americans. Everyone's talking about it. You know, also in Britain, there's, there's, there's another word to use or another phrase, ultra-processed. Uh, and that's a food that's prepared using complex industrial methods, multiple ingredients, probably none of it natural, right? Little or very little nutritional value. And I like that one because I think we, Americans, we should adopt that, but not for food, for our political system. Uh, you know, there's a reason we get very little done down in Washington, D.C. Too many Elected officials are simply processed, right, like that mashed together by the establishment machine uh, designed to just kind of do their bidding, bidding, right? Now, as far as other things are concerned, the current state of cancel culture uh, should be no surprise represented on that list. I saw de-banking, de-influencing, ranking really high. You know, there is so much time trying to de-bank and de-influence people. Often, <laughs> the irony, of course, is, is that uh, the folks who always are railing against cancel culture are often out there hard at work trying to cancel someone else. It's really ridiculous, right? I mean, uh, you're just not supposed to, uh, you know, dislike anyone anymore. It has to go a lot further than that. But I do think with all of the words that begin with DE, you know, uh, maybe we should consider debunking or debunk. That certainly should have been on the list because I have lost track now of all of those stories. Remember the headlines taken at face value, all of the things that have twisted and turned our nation upside down, uh, that, you know, they were embellished. Uh, but turns out many of them were just lies, straight out lies. I mean, just absolutely nuts. Uh, and then, of course, there's the government finally admitting that there are UFOs, that they've seen them, that they've landed. That barely made a ripple. No one cares anymore. Some others that caught my attention, greedflation. We know what greedflation is, right? It's supposedly businesses who are so greedy. I will say, fewer potato chips in a bag is wrong, just straight out wrong. But how about greenflation? Uh, I think this is a lot worse for our economy because... It is the main driver of inflation right now. It is crushing everything. This greenflation, this need to be a climate pure country in just a few years. It's ridiculous. It's not going to work. By the way, I'm old fashioned and I wonder why the need for all these fancy words in the first place when there's so many good words out there. A lot of them are four letters, I admit that, but there's a lot of them out there that can get you straight to the point. You won't lose anything in translation with all of these fancy words. In fact, I think these fancy words are part of the problem. Or as they used to say, they're all just a bunch of crock.